Hi, Stephen here. In today's lesson, we're going to be going through the uh, dashboard correlator and trend volume uh, setup, how to uh, set up your indicators and get you up and running, and just a general overview of these indicators. So we'll be going through the activation, a general overview, market times, multi-time frame graphs, uh, alarms, and the heat map. That's for the dashboard correlator. And then on the trend volume indicator, it's activating the indicator, general overview, alarms, and configuration. Okay, the first thing we want to do is check that the, uh, once you have set everything up, we want to check that the uh, indicators are in fact where they should be. So you want to go into custom indicators, you click on this icon over here, and you look for dashboard correlator, that's the indicator, um, and the trend vol indicator over there. Right, the next thing we want to do is open up a chart, so new chart, any chart you want. Doesn't matter if it's one day, the time frame, one day, one minute, whatever. It doesn't, it makes no difference. Go on to this icon over here that says uh, templates. Click on it and look for dashboard correlator. And you click on that. Allow a little bit of time for it to load. It's got a lot of calculations in that that it's got to go through. There's over 2,700 lines of code and it has to check every single um, time frame um, as well as every strength against um, the um, other currencies. So there's a lot of calculations that it has to go through and it does that for the currencies, for the commodities and for all your stock indices as well. Okay, once you've, you've got everything set up, uh, I'm just going to go through all the different uh, windows where everything is and how to read the uh, dashboard correlates. On the left chair, you've got your uh, the actual currencies, the strengths um, and weaknesses. Red is showing e extreme weakness and green is showing extreme strength. Uh, these numbers you see here, the, it's just a volatility index. The higher the number, the, the stronger the, vo the volatility, the lower the number. Um, or the more negative the number, the weaker it is. All right, so it's selling off more or it's uh, gaining more strength. And the colors um, obviously are v varying degrees of strength or weakness. So you'll see here all the different colors. Um, as you see the bars changing, you'll see it's either getting more weak or more strong. So these are the currencies. Um, on the right here, you've got your commodities in gold and oil, and you've got your stocks in the U.S. stocks, the S&P, NASDAQ, Dow, the Russell 2000, and the European stocks is the FTSE, the DAX, the Euro stocks, the CAC, and the SMI. On the bottom here, you have got your heat map. So this tells you what is going on um, from a global perspective on all time frames from one minute through to a one day. Um, and this is very useful because it can tell you exactly when a market is starting to turn. So say for instance now everything here is in green. Okay. Now when you start seeing some red coming through uh, from a one minute, that will be your first sign, then the five minute, then 15 minutes, it, you know the market's starting to turn. And there's a possibility you should either get out of your, your uh, position or you're going for a reversal. It all depends on how you want to use it to trade, but there's many ways that you can use it. Um, the stocks tell us what is going on from a – stocks and commodities tell us what's going on uh, as far as the um, risk appetite or risk aversion is concerned, and that will then have an effect on how uh, the currencies react to that risk aversion. We'll be going through all this – these type of setups and that later on. This is just to get you acquainted where everything is. Um, all right. So on the left here you have your all your time frames, and over here on the bottom you've got the averages. So whatever you select there, it would take the average of all these selections here. Okay. Next, I'm just going to go through some of the selections over here. Um, don't worry about these um, market times over here. That just tells you when the markets are opening and closing, uh, the stocks are opening and closing, and if it's 
if it's above if the the server time is above these you won't see anything in your stock so if you don't see anything there you know that the market's closed this is very important time frame one two and three now on the top here you will see it will tell you precisely what you've chosen to represent from a graphical point of view so if you only want to see a five minute graph you put down five minute over there and you'll look back We'll go through the look back now. If you want to see a combination of a 5 and say a 15 and a 30 minute graph, it then averages the three three time frame strengths and it um, puts it onto your graph. This will give you a better overview of the actual market and, and volatility instead of, you know, sometimes you get a, um, there's a bit of a whipsaw effect if you're just looking at one specific time frame. So some traders like to... Um, use that uh, in their trading methods the look back is merely the amount of bars that you want to look back the volatility and the bar look back so that's a global look back so for instance if you're looking at a one minute so for a one minute it would be one minute times a look back of seven that's seven minutes back I normally like to look at a look back of say 15 minutes or a look back of 15 so on a five minute you would then times it by 15 that would give you the time that it's looking back in it's all to do with the actual bars the look back is specifically the bars and um, how many bars you're looking back on that specific time frame it's simple as that okay so that that will give you the graphical representation on top here the alarms are based on this these um, volatility uh, indices over here okay so you either set alarms uh, you enable the alarms yes or no uh, true or false if you want to receive a, a, an alert or um, an email or both and this uh, alarm delay will will be the amount in seconds that it uh, will check to see if your the level that you have set um, has been reached so here for instance it's every three minutes that it will then look to see has that uh, level been breached if it has it then gives you a, a an alarm don't set this too low as it'll be going off all the time I'd rather set it at you know three or five minutes um, then we've got the alerts start and end time that is just if you want to only receive alarms between specific hours um, you can set that and then these are the actual upper and lower levels of the alarms it's set at a thousand because um, you you're not going to you shouldn't be see, seeing uh, figures of a thousand that's why I've set it out of the way so that you can reset it um, to your lower levels um, so for instance if you are looking at the Swiss franc over here and you wanted to see when it it weakened more or it got stronger you could then just set it you go to Swiss franc lower level minus say 200 levels of of say above 250 either way um, are high levels of volatility volatility so that's how you set your your levels and then if you want to activate more uh, time frames on your heat map very easy you just go on to the various time frame set that to true and you'll see it will update there's your five minutes don't try and update all of them at once you'll more than likely freeze your your system as I said there's a lot of calculations going on here um, so just do one at a time all right so that's activating the heat map um, and now we're going to move on to the trend vol indicator right the way you activate the trend vol uh, it's new charts um, the difference here is use the forex uh, underscore fx charts because that's your ECN chart so I'm going to choose uh, euro fx it's a more market related uh, pricing so I'm going to go for say a five minute and all you do is same thing you go to your temperature trend vol apply it and you're done
and there you have it. Okay, I'll just quickly go through the um, how this this indicator works. The actual setups and everything. I'll have a separate video for that. What you've got here is these um, pink stars are the inside bars. Now it's the inside bar smallest of four. All right, it's it's a trading methodology. Basically, what it tells you is when there's a slowing of momentum, there's indecision in the market. It's a very effective way of trading, um, and everything. Um, that, that we trade with the dashboard correlator and the trend volatility indicators all about volatility and price action all right so when you see a slowing of um, price action over here there's indecision it could go either way and the way you read it is that is the that is the inside bar there the, the bar uh, preceding it is the bar that you look at the um, the limits at so the the wick the candle wick okay will be the the high and the low of that candle so here we see that um, a nice channel was formed this tells you the trend these green um, arrows over here and so you were looking for a breakout long it could have gone short but it didn't it went long so you your entry would be here somewhere it carried on showing you that the um, trend was still up another one was formed here it carried on another uh, inside bar formed there and it carried on and it only turned over here so that's where you would have got out okay just going into the actual indicator itself you've got a must allow um, DLL imports both on the dashboard correlator and the um, trend vol indicator here you can set your enable email alerts or the alerts normal alerts um, both for the inside bar so it will tell you when an inside bar is formed and um, as well as the uh, alert these arrows okay will tell you when you should be looking at going long or short it's not a definitive thing here so um, all of this is a it's a it's it's a guide and will give you precise entries but nothing is for certain in forex so yes a lot of the time it will work but it's not going to work all the time that's that's the way the you know any type of trading works but we have about a 65 to 70 percent um, success rate of on on this using this trading method. Okay, and that's where I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, as I said, the um, the next training video will be on uh, detailed entries and exits using the combination of the dashboard correlator and the trend volume indicator. Uh, thanks a lot for your time. I look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye.